Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Rachel. Help me as celebrate the grace in the house. My father, my mommy. What am I? Look at you guys are not happy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. When you hear this sister's testimony, you will know that God of Morten is the greatest healer in the whole world. Go straight to the point. God bless you. That one Thursday we was in the church here, and that is say after the, the service, they that is say we should come out so that he will anoint people that are sick. And I was not sick, but my niece in the house was very sick, was looking very pale, was looking as if there's no blood in that body. And that is happening how it happened to the other one, the other one died. So I didn't want to take it for granted. I came out, and I, 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 mommy anointed me, and I, I pressed my hand, he anointed me. And when I'm going home, I just held my hand, like I didn't touch anybody. I went and prayed for her. And yesterday, if you see her, she, if you see the blood came out of her body. She's looking healthy. She's looking well. And that is, and that, that is the first testimony. The second one, when we came for that uh, night VG, daddy was asking, he stood there and was saying, who booked for operation? I said, it's my mom. And I came out. So he said, I should come out. He's, he asked the church, did you believe that if I prayed for her, her mommy would be healed at home? How many of you were here on that Friday? Do we have a confirmation here? Give the Lord a shout. So I, after everything, I went home. So I called my mom. I prayed for her. I said they prayed. Please, hold on. Hold on, please. I called my mom and I said that they prayed for me for your sake. And my mom is a person woman that have this faith she she said yes okay i prayed for her I touched that place and the place was very swollen was very swollen she has been complaining that i have not touched it because but yesterday when they had prayed for when i went home and i prayed for her the prayer that they prayed for me i touched it and the honey was very big so yesterday evening i came back from the market I was in the kitchen and she was inside. I called her, that, Mommy, what ha Mama, what happened? She said, ah, her stomach is burning her. I said, that is good. I believe Jesus is doing the operation now. Somebody, do we have somebody here? Shout a louder, amen. She, she now said, amen. And today. <laughs> today. Today. Today, to the glory of God. She called me that when I came, she said, I should kneel down. I knelt down, she knelt down. She said, start appreciating the God for me. Start appreciating Jesus for me. Jesus has done it. I can no longer find that honey again. And I touch it. More much you are sitting like this. Honey operated by the God of my father. Give the Lord a shout. I couldn't find it. The, wait, wait, wait. The swollen disappeared. disappeared. It's no longer there. It's no longer. In fact, I don't know how to explain. So she now said, I shout, I scream. I scream and I went outside. She said, no, don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody. I, I said, ma'am, not telling anybody, but I'm going to testify in the church. It's in the church that you got your healing. And it's in the church, the church will first of all hear it before other people. So I came to the church and she said that, Daddy, she sent me a message to you. She said, I should tell Daddy that. Daddy in thing, they work. I said, it's not Daddy thing. It's Jesus. It's Jesus things that is working. So I'm not taking it for granted. The money I'm supposed to spend in the hospital is, I don't know what to say. I'm here to testify. I'm here to give God the glory and adoration and honor. And I don't know what to say. I thank you, Jesus. I say thank you, Jesus. What am I celebrating, Lord? Celebrate, Lord. Yeah.